Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q2 of the weekly contest 285, Count Collusions on a World. So this one, I did it, I think, probably a little bit funky. Um, I, basically, the idea is that I just kind of spend a lot of time proving something that is not possible uh, and then kind of figure out that way. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Um, and the, the two things I, I want to say, right, and the, some of it may be obvious once you kind of, you know, think about it. Uh, and first is that if you have left in on the edges or right on the edges, you can just remove them. I mean, it is what it sounds like because that they'll go on forever and they'll never merge with anything else, right? And then now, once you uh, once you've done that, then then now you have something that everything is pointed toward the middle. So then you only have three cases, right? You have a right thing. A right thing will always uh, hit something on the hit something. It's either an S or an L. It doesn't matter. So that its contribution is always one. You have an L. If an L, then you always go left, which always means that you will hit either a right or an S, which means that is the L contribution is one in that case, right? And then you have an S, which it which actually doesn't count as a collusion for whatever uh, whatever reason. So the only thing that is different is an S and because an S doesn't count for a collusion, it contributes to other people's collusion. Once you've done that, then it becomes basically this code, which I did in linear time. I did in linear space, but actually I, I probably didn't have to do it in linear space, but I was just trying to um, go through the different scenarios in my head while I was doing it, right? So that's basically the idea. Um, I Like I said, I removed the, the L's in the left, R's on the right, and then after that is just the length of the array because is every is, is the combination of L, R's, and S minus the number of S because they don't contribute at all. Um, so that's pretty much the idea behind this problem. Uh, and you can see that this is uh, at least linear time because you have to look at all the elements, right? So there's no way to go below linear time. And the way that I did it is linear space again because, I don't know, I just like to do it this way. Um, but you can actually do this in constant space just having two pointers to trim and then do the count, right? So that's pretty straightforward to do in constant time. Uh, this is contest code, so it's a little bit, you know, uh, weird around that. Hope that's okay. But yeah, that's all I have for this one. And you could watch me solve it live during the contest now. Uh, would have been bad if I got wrong answer from that one. That's good. Okay. Not a great story, but that's okay. Yeah, what am I doing? I don't know that, um, for example, what if it's R, L, L? doesn't tell you. So that is stationary then? Hmm, it's a very weird problem, honestly.
guess this is okay. That makes sense now. Hmm. Hmm. How do I want to do it? I was just um, I think this is way better. Yeah, YOLO. Okay. Uh yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think. Uh we'll see you later. Stay good, stay healthy, take a mental health. I'll see you later. Bye bye.